Hi guys, well welcome to my closet. For those of you that have not been in here or not seen it, once in a while you'll see the background on Instagram. But it's been a long time since I filmed in here. I think I did a video several years ago when we had first updated our closet, which actually needs some updating again. I'd like to redo it slightly. So anyway, I am cleaning out my closet today and it, I kind of laugh because if you could see my setup in here, I had to bring my light in and my camera with the tripod and all that and extension cord. This is why I've been putting this video off. I've been wanting to clean out my closet, but I thought, you know what? I'd like to film it because I like watching those types of videos. And if anything else, maybe it'll just give you inspiration to clean out your own closet. So I am just in my comfy clothes today, barely any makeup on because this is really how I would clean out my closet. You know, I'm not going to get all dolled up for a video just to clean it out. I like to do this several times a year. Um, and I've been really good, I would say the past two years, um, about cleaning out just my beauty items in general. A lot of you have seen my makeup purge videos. I have a couple of those. Just trying to get things down to what I really like to use and wear. And definitely I would say after reading um, the one book, you know, the life-changing magic of tidying up. A lot of us have read that. I try to implement some of those into my closet cleanups. Again, I do this a couple of times a year, but what led me to this one was each time I go on vacation, which you guys know a couple of weeks ago, we went on a cruise. I always, you know, kind of get inspired to clean things out and it makes me go through my dresses, which are behind me, which is always something that piles up because I often buy dresses specifically for vacation. And I just noticed they're kind of piling up. I'm not wearing a lot of things, so I need to clean them out. And I've also brought, it's just off camera right outside the door here, I bought a garment rack in here. It usually stays in our laundry room. I'm going to hang things up on there as I'm getting rid of them. And for me, typically things may make a couple of passes. Like if I'm kind of unsure about it the last time I cleaned out my closet, it may have survived that round, but it's one of those, if I've passed it by a couple times and I still haven't worn it, then I know it's probably time to get rid of it. Some things I just have a really hard time getting rid of because I just really like it or it's really basic and I hate to get rid of good basics. But then again, I'm trying to be a realist that if I haven't worn something in a year or more, then I'm probably not going to and I should stop rationalizing it for whatever reason and just get rid of it. So I'm going to show you a quick overview of the closet here and then in another guest bedroom I have a lot more clothes that are more special occasion only for like holidays, Easter, my wedding dress, things like that in another closet. I really need to go through those as well. So let's take a look at those overviews and then we'll get started. So we'll just go in and I have not cleaned this closet or anything for the video. I just wanted you to see it in its raw true form. also have shoes down here. These are kind of things I wear a lot. They just sit right there. I have a sneaker slip-on shoe obsession. So anyway, you can see this over here. This dress section is kind of infringing over here now. So I really need to clean this out. Um, every time I go on vacation, that's when I kind of notice, oh, dresses need cleaned out. So that's kind of the main focus I'm working on today. So I almost feel like I need to start in the front here. The back is usually longer dresses, um, but I feel like it's a little harder to get to. So I'll start here in the front because they're definitely encouraging here on the long sleeve shirts. As you can see, yes, I have a lot of long sleeves and a lot of plaid. I have a thing for plaid. <laughs> so I'll just start with this first one here and we'll go from there. And I'll try not to do a ton of explaining and I might even fast forward through some of this. Um, I really love the color of this dress, but I have not worn it in many years. And I think it's more almost the fabric or something I'm not loving or the drape. I like it when I put it on, but it's definitely a maybe and it can probably go. So I'm going to just, anything that's going to go, I'm going to hang up on this rack. I'm going to try to be brutal. I can't always be. Um, this dress I actually really like. I haven't worn it probably in a year. It has an exposed zipper. Um, but I still do like it, so I'm going to keep that. And again, this closet clean out specifically is kind of more for dresses this time because I periodically, I feel like I'm really 
better at cleaning out pants, skirts, sleeveless tops, things like that. But the dresses, I've really not gone through in a while. Um, this is a cute one from Old Navy. I'll keep this because of the blue. Sometimes I wear these things during football season um, because it is a great gator blue. This you probably just saw on my recent cruise. It's a romper. It's actually showing up pretty true to color, thankfully, this time. I know on the cruise, that crazy lighting, you can't always tell the color. So it is a true hot pink. Definitely keeping that. Um, this is a dress that I've only worn once, I think, on a cruise last year. I love it. It's got a great racer back. I know you guys gave me a lot of great compliments. Thank you. Um, blue is definitely one of my favorite colors, so I know I'm keeping that. You've probably seen this one a lot. This is one of those that always goes on a cruise with me. I don't always wear it, but it's one of those just great throw on when I don't know what to wear. It's comfortable. It's great for like later on in the cruise when maybe, you know, you've gained a few pounds. So I'm definitely keeping this. I don't think I could ever get rid of it. Here's one I know I'm going to get rid of. It's a great dress. It's just a navy you know, really pretty simple style, um, but I just never wear it. I don't think it's actually that flattering on me. When you have a larger chest, sometimes I feel like this neckline just adds to it. A lot of these dresses are from Target too. I feel like I go through years where Target has really great dresses and then years where I don't find anything. So this is another one um, from Target has an exposed zipper. Again, I love the color. I don't think I wore this one last year much. It has a tie belt. So it's almost like a t-shirt dress, but I know um, I really like this when I wear it. I just need to be better about wearing it. I think I will be once I get rid of some of these, you know, once I can see what I really have. This is another one from Target. Um, I think I did a blog post about this years ago. It's really flattering on and really pretty. I just don't reach for it anymore. Um, it has a tie belt. Like I said, it's very pretty. I just don't think it's really me anymore. Um, and I've definitely got my use out of it, so it's going. So this is one you guys probably saw in a haul last year. I bought it when I was actually looking for this next dress. So I bought it when I was looking for this. Couldn't find this, so I bought this. Um, it's so heavy, the material, that I've not worn it. Um, it would probably be great for this time of year because it is a heavier material, but it's one of those, it's way too heavy for summer. So I don't know if I'm going to get much wear out of it. I'm really on the fence of, I probably should just go ahead and donate it. Um, because again, I don't think I'm going to wear it, even though I think it's cute. I never have worn it. So I feel like talking this out is somewhat helping me too. This is a dress by Crown and Ivy. Um, I've actually never worn this. I bought this when I bought the pants that have the same pattern you guys have seen me wear. Um, this is just one of those dresses. I love the pattern. And so I've just never worn it because I probably did gain a couple pounds since buying it, but I love it. So I'm keeping it. Um, this one I bought is the same time as that other blue and white one. I have not worn this yet, but I plan to. It'd be a great beach cover up or just like, you know, casual summer dress. It has like a, a slip underneath of it you could wear or not. It's the back. It's really cute. This is actually another dress I have not worn. I think I bought it on that same trip. I just thought it'd be a really cute summer dress. I like the pattern. Um, I don't, you know what? It's one of those, I think it just got hidden in between because I have a lot of blue dresses. So I think, you know, it's almost one of those you forget you have it. This is actually a new t-shirt dress. It's just black. I think it came in another color. This is actually from Walmart and it looked so nice when I tried it on and it's not too thin. A lot of t-shirt dresses I find are super thin um, and it's a decent length. So I just bought this right before we went on the cruise, brought it with me, but didn't end up wearing it. This would look awesome with sandals, some Chuck Taylors, or like nude wedges, I think would look really cute. This is a dress I bought at Old Navy. It's like a quilted, really soft gray. I like it, I just haven't worn it. It's almost like a t-shirt dress. I bought it a couple years ago in the fall. Again, I don't know why I've not worn it, but I need to because I like it. And it has, again, I don't know if you can see, it has like a quilting pattern. Hopefully we're gonna get into some more that I'm gonna get rid of. This is a, um, romper. You guys have seen me wear this before on a cruise. Definitely keeping that. Uh, this is brand new, so I'm keeping it. This I'm going to have a hard time with because it's a gorgeous dress on. It's like kind of a greenish black leopard print with a belt. It's actually so pretty. I wore this for my 40th birthday on a cruise. Um, I just really like the draping. I think I'm going to keep it. I haven't worn it since then, but I really like it. So I think I'm going to keep it. Okay. Here's where we get into some things I'm just not wearing 
at all anymore. Um, this dress I bought just because of the orange and blue, and I just don't love it. It's J. Crew, but it's not the most flattering colors now that I look at it. I am gonna go ahead and get rid of this one. Um, I just don't love it, even though it's orange and blue. I hate getting rid of something orange and blue. Um, it's time for it to go. Love this one too. It's not the most flattering. You guys have seen this one, but I love the pattern so much. I cannot not wear it. This is a really pretty loft dress, but again, it's that style that crisscrosses. It has a tie, um, and I don't. I just don't think it's that flattering. Even though it's like a staple dress, I just don't think it's me anymore. So I'm getting rid of it. This is something I bought in the fall. Um, kind of like a shirt dress from Old Navy. As you can see it has a tag on it. I've not even worn it, but I love it, so I need to wear it. I'll let it go. These are the pants you've seen me wear on a recent cruise, keeping those. This is just a black strapless maxi. I love that. However, this one's a strapless J. Crew maxi. And it cinches here at the waist. I really like it, but it's a medium, and I should have never gotten a medium because it's always been too big. So I never wear it for that reason because it looks a little sloppy on me. So it's going. This is new. I just got it last year. I've only worn it once, but I'm hoping to wear it again. This is something I'm on the fence about. I love looking at it. I've worn this once in a cruise video. Um, I really like it. It's just, I have to watch the middle. I have to pin it or something, or it can be a little bit too revealing, but I think it's really cute. And that's specifically why I got it is for vacation. It's definitely a vacation dress. So I'm going to keep it and see if I wear it this summer. This is a black jumpsuit. I've worn that. Love it. You've seen this Navy jumpsuit recently. Love this. Another jumpsuit I've worn, um, that I'm keeping this dress. However, I'm getting rid of because it's not flattering. I've worn it one time um, in a cruise video. So it looks like this. It's got pleating. So it's a maxi, but it just makes me look very top heavy. So I don't think it's the most flattering on me. I really love that it's navy and simple. Um, but again, I just don't think for the chest area it's most flattering. Um, but this would be great for like a formal night on a cruise or vacation, anything like that. So I am getting rid of this. This is new. You've seen it. Uh, I've wore it one time, keeping that. And then, of course, you've seen this one. I'm keeping that, of course. My blue one is at the cleaners right now. So some of you may be familiar with this room that you're looking at our travel closet and I keep a lot of our travel basics in there, but I also have some other clothes. So I'm going to show you real quick what's in there. So here's an overview of what it looks like. Again, like I said, I have all of our suitcases and travel things in it. So when we're traveling, I just go to this area. It's easy. Um, but I do have some blazers and things I'm keeping over here. I'm really bad about getting rid of blazers because I just feel like they're timeless. If you get them in a certain cut, I feel like they always look good. But honestly, I don't ever wear any of these that you're seeing here. The ones I do wear, I keep in my main closet. So I'm probably going to be getting rid of all of those, even though a couple of them... I really like them. So we'll see. I feel like I always do that with the blazers. And then looking over here, these are mainly special occasion dresses. My wedding dress, my husband's suits are hanging there, but I will probably get rid of a few things here. Or mainly like if something's just at holiday, I will keep it here. So basically that's what all this is. Um, or like, you know, things I'm seeing, you know, like a dress I only wear for Easter right there. So I just quickly went through some of the items in the other closet and I'm only keeping the pale pink blazer and a black one. Um, this I know looks kind of crazy, but I used to wear this to work and it's so sharp with just a pair of black pants. You know, it kind of makes a nice outfit. You're not too stuffy business looking, but yet this is very fitted and put together. Like I said, I haven't worn any of these in years. When I used to have an office job, I would dress up. I loved getting dressed up for work and planning outfits, but you know, I work from home most of the time now, so, and I don't need this level of dressed up. So I'm getting rid of all these blazers right here. This dress still has the tags on it from Target. It's a size eight. Um, I'm usually a six or an eight in a dress, depending on how tight it fits to the hips, normally a six, but it's just a great, um, sheath dress, really great material in gray, but I've never worn it. Obviously I got it. I think I'd wear it in the fall to like church or something, but I just never did. Um, I've worn this for Easter a few times so it can go. A few of these things were like Christmas only kind of things. Like I'd wear them to holiday parties, you know, at people's house or for work. Um, but they just need to go. They're old. I've definitely got my use out of it. 
This dress I love, but I've definitely got my use out of it. It's looking dated. It's very flattering. I've worn it in a few cruise videos years ago. Um, again, it's extremely flattering on. It's a great color for me. I've worn it to Christmas parties, um, but it's had its time, so it needs to go. And again, so this gives you an overview of everything that I get rid of out of my closet. It actually took me two days to get rid of everything. And then here's just a little overview of everything. The dresses are a huge improvement, even though I do have a lot of them. Um, move some shoes around, um, kind of threw away some old boxes, things like that. I do still have some shoes here on the floor, but I'm just gonna have to live with that for now until we can rearrange a little better. And then the biggest thing for me was I rearranged some of my shoes and my shorts and jeans area there in the middle so I could see what I had a little bit better. So it is working for now. So thanks for hanging out with me during this closet clean out. Again, I hope it gave you some inspiration to clean out your own. I definitely try to look at pieces that, you know, am I wearing it? Does it still fit? Have I worn it in a while? Why am I hanging on to it? And so I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Thanks so much for hanging out with me and we'll see you next time. Bye.